Okay, now for base character setup. What we want to do is we want to create a completely empty character and then add our moves on top. So we're just going to type in a base char and you will see there's a scene. You can double click it to check it out. You can see pretty much everything. Now we're going to make our own card character out of this. The first thing I recommend is not making a character folder in here, but instead making it on the very top layer. Why? It's because that's the way the mod loader works. And it allows us to do one click to zip up the whole character and don't worry about anything. So we just right click where it says res colon slash slash. That is just your very top folder. We're going to go new folder. So I would just call this unaligned um, ranger. But this is just an example name. And now we follow kind of the path of a normal character. So in here, we're going to make a new folder again. I call this characters. And inside of characters, we're going to make net yet another folder called ranger again. Remember the base character we had from before? We're just going to open it up again. Base char or base C. And you would just right click it and go new inherited scene. So that's just, as you can see at the top, it just made an unsaved scene for us, right? I'm just going to close everything up here just so we only have the thing we need. So now the only thing you need to do is rename this to basically exactly how your character is named. In this case, Ranger. Now we're just going to save it, scene, save scene as, and we're going to find the old folder, ranger, characters, ranger, and we're just going to name it ranger.tc, that's fine. And there we go, now we have our very base character, it doesn't have anything besides ability for grab and some dashes, and now we just have to attach it. Um, so the game, so we can see it in the character selection screen. For that, we type in global.gd. This is the only time, this is only one of the few times you have to touch code if you want to make a character. But yeah, so in here, you see all this stuff. You don't need to worry about any of this. What I recommend is you click the X again and you find your scene again. And you click right click here and go copy path. And then we're just gonna, you see the name path, so we're just gonna extend this for just the character. So we're just gonna type in Ranger. Keep in mind, the name here is the character name. It has to be exactly the name as the scene name up here. Let me do colon, and we do this again. And then we're just gonna paste in, or right click paste, or control V, our path, like this. And we're gonna save it. Uh, let me just control S. And this should be it. Now we can press play and our custom character should appear in our list. Single player, as you can see, there he is. We haven't done any sprite work, but he is loaded in. So this is the very base to start modding from here on now.